Hello everybody, I'm Our Central here. Welcome back to another OMS video with me today. It's been a while since I've done an OMS video, so I thought I'd get one in. Um, hopefully I've changed the settings around a little bit, so hopefully I've got some nice FPS as you can see. Don't know how long it'll last though, so we'll make most of it while we've got it. So today we're going to be driving this vehicle, the Volvo Beaton Beely. Um, Renown, um, the newer sort of reworked version that I have. Unfortunately, I can't remember how I got this bus. Um, I know that other people have done videos of it, that's why you've seen a video now. Um, and I know that we can record it, but I can't remember where I got it from, um, I'm afraid. And that means it's not released yet. So hopefully this is going to get your taste buds tingling a little bit for the new Renown that's coming out very, very soon um, in the payware variant from Studio Polygon. So we'll look forward to that. So until then, we will start up this vehicle when it works. There we go. So as you can see, as usual, and this bus, before we begin, this bus is not available. The download links um, for the map VOTW that we are on um, are in the description below as per usual. Um, but as you can see with this bus, it is a very, very basic model. I mainly just drive this vehicle for the sounds that it has. Um, no ticket machine and a few other stuff, but it's still quite nice. So there's a lot of glare from inside, so I'll switch that off. So unfortunately we don't have uh, the thingamabob that you click to work. It doesn't work on this one. So we've got 35 and we are going to top this today. I am very pomery. And I don't know what the NNK means at the end. So this is quite a nice um, little feature from this bus is the scrolling blind. It does make for quite a nice drive. So don't know how well we're going to do on frames today, we'll just have to see how we go. Advance apologies if they go kaput. But again, we're trialling some new settings. So as I have kept saying to you all, the current setup of OMSI is a temporary measure um, until next month, thus why there's not that many OMSI videos at the moment from myself. Nor as many map projects. I do want to start a map project, but it's just at the moment I just don't see the need. I would I would be working on Harrowfort, but unfortunately, um, I do have the map backed up. I do have the map backed up, but unfortunately, um, with the PCV set, I lost all the objects that go with it. So it would be a nightmare to find the thousands of objects that go with that map. So I've just decided it's best just not to work on it um, until at least um, I get the new PC in and start working on that. So as I say, we'll work around to paint and bus station. I don't know what the lag is going to be like in Totnes, we're just going to have to say... Oh. Something I do tend to forget is that pile of rubble there on the bus lane. That's why you've got to take it so, so wide. So as you can see, the two V-paints that come with this variant of the model is the Barbie and a very, very basic Olympia livery. Um, not much exciting, to be fair. I don't know, I just all went light. I've, I've, tuned the, I've changed the time by five minutes later and it went lighter, even though it's 22... 
20 to 5 that I don't seem to understand. Um, I'm, move, I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit more um, just to ensure that there is no sound issue. If there was at the beginning, I do apologise. But I'm not recording this again. I'm not, I've already tried to record an editing series before I forgot I don't have half of the stuff I need installed yet. But the OMZ2 um, editor series is coming, the one that I promised everyone. One that I promised everyone for the UK map, sort of an updated variant of the old three part series I did um, last time. So we we have already driven this beaten Bailey on here. I totally forgotten that we have. It's just sprung to mind. We drove this on here on the subscriber special. That when the map decides to conk in, um, that will be hopefully in the top right of your screen now. Um, you can check out that 2K2 part special that I did. Um, I'm getting right fancy with working YouTube now. It's very exciting. Um, but yeah, we did that two-parter where the first part was done in the Beat and Bailey and then part two um, from Paynton to Exeter was done in the um, 143 Pacer with the new GWR livery. It was very nice and livery I need to reinstall again. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, the brakes went a bit dodgy. So usually my bus of choice on here um, is the Mercedes Citaro. I feel like we've already driven that on here. I think I've, d I've, all, I've done a video of that bus on here already and I think I've done it in this exact same direction. Oops. Oh. Oh, hey ho, I'm not fussed. This is the B10 Bailey after all, and it's a nice run out from Paynton to Exeter, so I'm not complaining. Not Paynton to S Exeter, Totnes. Um, Paynton to Totnes. It is quite a nice run. Come on, through the lights, please. Thank you. Come on, game. So the settings have changed so that hopefully overall the FPS is better. Um, however, it is lo it loads in the map as I go up and down. It's also apologies about those bleeps as well. Um, it's a new thing that's come with this PC. I do not know what it is, um, but it's a new thing that came with the update on this PC um, when I had it repaired. So whatever it is, it, it's different. Uh, hey ho, somebody in the comments will probably know what it is. So I'm hoping to get some train sim videos recorded soon as well. I don't know how the new setup is going to work for train sim, so I am on the whole probably going to hang on um, hang on with train sim till um, I get the new PC next month. But I am going to try and record the odd video on it. Um, one of the YouTube channels that I watch, Train Sim TV, um, have recently released a video of Microsoft train simulator MTMS. Uh, M MSTS should I say um, that's quite an old old game but the reason I show interest in it is because of the amount of tram and sort of tramway super tram um, networks that are present on it um, hang on hold on <laughs> oh come on don't do that to me There we go. This um, variant of the B10 is incredibly slow at accelerating off the mark. Um, it also can't do hills, it can't do hill starts. And I learned that on Humber Buses um, when I attempted to record a video of this on Route 100. Um, and it stopped on the hill and it wouldn't go again. It should be okay on hills like this, it's just other hills that it, it cannot do, um, steep ones, although the one on Humber bus is going up to um, South Bay Park and Ride is a steep one. <laughs> that is quite a steep incline, is that? Come on. 
Come on, boss. It doesn't make any difference whatever gear I go up in, either, for anybody asks. So there'll be a video coming out next week, I've just decided here and now. Um, with this beat and beer lead, you can hear, for those of you watching this video till now, you're probably listening to the gearbox. Um, that's pretty much the only reason I drive this bus. Oh, do we go into the zoo? I usually do night shifts, so I never, ever, ever actually go into the zoo. Yeah, we do. Damn. Um, into the zoo we go, then. On quite a bouncy road. Uh, I forget how bouncy that road was, actually. It might just be the very smooth suspension on the Citaro. I'm going to be driving the Citaro G again very soon. I don't know, I have driven it in a video, I think. I definitely have. Um, I'll be driving it again very soon. Um, somebody's released a new Aberdeen 1s and 2s repaints for the Bridges Network. Um, the ex first York Citaro is the first one one um, triple one zero six um, has just been painted into the livery to replace the B seven LAs. So um, someone's made a repaint of that. So I will be doing a video on that repaint very soon because it's one I have been hyping. Oh, let me just check. I heard an elephant. <laughs> uh, well, we'll do that so we are actually on time. I didn't know you could hear elephants and animals when you were here. That is seriously cold. Come on, move up. I didn't know there was that in the middle. This reminds me of my many visits as a child to um, Chester Zoo um, before Stagecoach took over on the... Is it the one? It was the one. Um, one service or the two. Um, it used to first... Chester used to operate in and used to operate it in the Chester Zoo. Um, and these have all sorts of floor lines with this sort of similar bodywork to this um, coming in. Oh my goodness me. It was quite weird as well because there was one of them I saw as a kid took a photo of it, 60172, um, and that ended up um, in, the, um, in like, I think it was 18 months after being transferred to Leeds um, and ended its life in Leeds. It basically, because it transferred there, its life sort of lasted two more years than it would have conventionally. Um, with any of the first group fleets, because Leeds were the last place to have floor lines in public use. So it was quite interesting to see that how much it, it lasted um, as such. But yeah, T919, SSG or something. Um, that was a good one. Then there was 6009. Um, that was enough, an, another one that stood out as well. Um, number 9 of the um, 6 sort of starting number 1s because they were for the longer single decker, so the ninth one numbered in that, although I do know that Chester did, the native Chester buses did get that fleet numbering first, as I know that their solos used to be like four, triple zero, one, two, three, etc. That was, they were sold 2013, I believe. So that is, you're wanting to get off, aren't you? And you're wanting to get on. Uh, if I wouldn't have even checked, you wouldn't have been able to get on the buses I'd have flown straight past. This is why I usually do night runs on this map. Because you don't have to stop at the zoo. And there's hardly anybody waiting at the bus stops. You're in lane two, aren't you? So as I was saying before, I just totally um, went off on a tangent about Pinkton Zoo. Um, a video that 
the video that will be coming up next week now i've decided for those of you listening to this gearbox um is a very very nice vehicle um a friend of mine recently purchased a volvo b10m city bus one of the ex devon and cornwall um open top was one of the ones new to badger line and um, earlier this month we took a spin in it um and i ha i recorded an incredibly nice video um of it doing some nice motorway running um amongst sort of some hill climbs and things like that um so i've edited all of it i've got it all sorted and that will be released next week so do look out for that as for those of you who are enjoying sort of hearing the sounds on this hearing in real life sort of b10m or b10 generally is just oh they are lovely especially at the moment when we can't attend rallies and things so hopefully you guys will enjoy listening to that sort of thing when it's released it will be in the top right corner as well now that's if i remember to do all of this if i don't it'll be i'll have put it in the description anyway as long as i haven't forgotten because that has happened before <laughs> So apart from the slow off the mark, this is quite a nice model. And obviously with the clause of not being able to sort of release it or you guys drive it yourself, this is why I do videos of it. Because it is just, it's one of the oddballs I just have saved. And I cannot remember where from. Um, honestly can't. I have a vivid idea of who made it. Um, if you're watching, please just shout out in the comments. Feel free to do that. Um, but the person who did sort of make it and modelled it around the initial beat ended an absolutely tremendous job. So we're now pulling into White Hill. That until today I thought was Whitehall. Uh, because I haven't read that sign before. Sorry. The deed, every man and his dog echoing and abuse at me. So it does feel like generally the game is performing a bit. Oh, no, we need to move a bit further down. There we go. So generally the. Yeah, because if I click this, the how bad the glare is, I can't see where I'm going. So I'm going to keep them up a little bit longer. <laughs> That's why it's dark, old lady. So I'm hoping, as I say, to get back into the OMSI editing. I'm having done a bit of travelling about recently, um, with that sort of having to pause for a bit now, for the obvious reasons that we do not discuss on this channel, as I believe that this YouTube channel is a nice escapism away from the real world activities. Um, so the last thing I want to do, oh goodness, I cut the curb, forgot to do the gear, ugh. Um, I won't be doing as much travelling as I'm hoping to use my sort of my photography, my ideas, my inspiration from the travelling to do the map work again. So the only thing I am going to mention on what's going on in the real world is for everybody who um, watches the channel, travels about, takes inspiration from the trips that I do, just to be mindful and be safe in what you do. Got to change up, oops. Um, just be mindful in what you do. Um, obviously take the precautions that you need to. It, it's about just, it's like for example, I used to be out and about, let's look, um, 12 months ago, I used to be out and about all the time, um, seven days a week I'd be going places. I'm, you're in top gear, I don't know why you're not going in. Um, 
and I used to be out seven days a week, it's like now I'll probably be lucky if I do one day a week. Um, and that's just being mindful at the moment. I know that in 12 months' time, I'll probably be out three, four times a week. Um, not obviously, probably never as much as the seven days that I used to be. And I don't have the time anymore, unfortunately. Um, the time has gone to do seven days. Um, but I'm hoping to be out three, four times a week in the future. Um, if we're looking 12 months into the sort of future and that. But until that, I want to try and get a bit more map work done. Um, for those of you who have... Did I do it in a vlog? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't vlog. I'm sorry. I didn't do me Leicestership on a vlog. No, I didn't. Um, but when I went sort of from Bakewell to Leicester, um, I went via Belpable Station. Was it that trip? I don't think it was. I think I did. I did Belper in a different day. I honestly, I don't think I vlogged that. No, I don't think I did. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on from that and my very, very bad memory loss. Um, Belper bus station that I have gone on about in the past. I think I've shown it in the odd video and the odd Tuesday Live, what I've been making. I'm hoping to use my expertise on making that style of ma style of bus station in a bus garage. Um, I'm hoping to base a new map around that, all being well. So that'll be something I'll do at some point. For those of you who did not, then yes, the frame rate just went appalling. But with the new settings in place, as you could see, it pinged straight back in. Um, the reason for that. Oh, and it froze a little bit. The reason for that is because I haven't loaded the full map at start and it's unloading one tile as I go through. So hopefully the performance is a bit better. There we go. I always slow down here and the reason I do is because I I went through a phase. Went through a phase where I didn't pick up a single soul here. Um single soul. So one day I decided that I was going to speed past here. Um, and when I mean speed, I mean I'm, I'm quite fast. I um, went through here quite fast. Last was driving, last run at day, and I left somebody behind. <laughs> so from there and in, oh, oh come on! I want to try and get. I'm going. I'm going to have to just. I think I'm going to have to pause the game for a second. I think. Oh, that was a. I oh come on game. This is the inner YouTuber in me getting a perfect screenshot. If we go like that. If this doesn't suffice as my thumbnail, I don't know what will. I am going to nail this. It's just a shame about the cars at, at the back. That's what's really annoying me a bit. Oh, come on. Get me. I just need a bit more of an angle so that I can get Will that work? Hang on, will that? Oh, a bit more, a bit more. This mouse is so fiddly on this game. There we go, that'll do. Look how slow it leaves. This is the only thing that's bad about this B10, is the acceleration is so bad. And it really seriously struggles, does this on the acceleration front. Come on, and into gear. Come on, there we go. That is the only problem with this vehicle, is the acceleration. So the next place on the list is Berry Pomery. As you can hear, it is really struggling to get at the tail. This is the only, now we're getting the gear off. This is the only non-realistic thing about this bus, I would say, the main, main thing that cries out to me um, on the B10 is the acceleration. The, I, I believe it, you could remap it if you wanted to, but there's no point, you could rescript it, but there's no point because we do have that new proper studio polygon um, sort of variant B10 coming out that I am really looking forward to. Um, that's why this this video here and me driving this bus is just to sort of wet the appetite a little bit, just to get everybody a bit hyped up. Um, 
for that bus. So as you can feel, the frames are dropping a little bit as we pull into Berry Pomeroy. But that's because it's loading in the area. There we go. But no, the B10 is such a lovely bus to drive in this game. It is so, so nice. No, the, the one thing I have a pet hate for in this game is when you're sorry, having to take it wide to go around the corner like that and a car just pulls right in front of you. Because that's the only issue with AI traffic is you can't you can't map AI traffic um, to sort of reverse and do things like that. It, you can't do it. That was the always the reversing base. Oh, I'll switch it on now. I won't be able to see where I'm going, but as long as you guys can see where you sat, that's what matters. Oh, the glare is so bad. Ugh. Note to self, don't drive this bus in, in the night in future. I used to do the last, um, my last 590 on Harrowthorpe, um, would be at like 10pm, I used to do it with one of these buses, um, and I think I had to change it over a good two or three times when I'd sort of set it up, because I was like, oh the glare is so bad. There we go. But it's not too bad at this time, it's just when you get to sort of 8, 9 o'clock in the game, when it when the sun has set. Because the problem is, is the, as you can see where the lighting is, the light focuses in the front instead of being in the centre. Wouldn't be too bad if it was in the centre. So here we are now in Totnes. I'm quite impressed with how this game has performed, to be fair. It's hard to say, sorry, I had, I had to slam all on otherwise we'd end up in a stone wall because I forgot, the, the only issue with this bus is because of how slow it accelerates you forget how, there we go, I've just realised this could be quite a nice screenshot oh yes it could be, um, you forget how sort of quick it, it gets up to speed once it's actually there like, oh come on, how should we do this then? I just love driving with the sun setting in the background. It is just so nice. Got another idea, let's. There we go, let's just bob you like that before that car pulls in front and ruins the potential shot. Ooh, that is a nice one. Oh, no. Down. There we go. Happy with that. Two miles to the town centre. So it's like when we look inside a bus now, let's say, you do look and you do think to yourself, you think, oh my goodness, that's a busy bus. Like even in this game. Um, and I have a few, a few of you will probably be thinking or may even mention. Um, the concept of oh why don't you download the new the, the, there's a new face mask mod or something and there's some people playing in game with sort of realistic passenger numbers all of that malarkey oh sorry about this it's just loading in tonnes um, and again we go back to the main subject title of why I'm not doing that um, and primarily the reason is is I play this game to get away from the real world not to immerse myself within it um, something that is incredibly nice is to drive this game with proper passenger numbers everything just like the world is normal because it just it really does act as a nice forgetting factor um, for what's going on that I think we all need at the moment because everything will get better um, and speaking of everything getting better um, when this video is released I will have done the first take of series 3 the new series and series 3 and 4 bundle of talking buses and um, the series returns 
Um, oh, come on, round. Oh my goodness me, that that was the lock was a bit dodgy at <laughs> that point. Um, series three um, returns. Um, a talking buses next Friday, I think. Um, if for whatever reason that changes, um, there will be a shout on the um, announcements page um, on the YouTube channel for those of you who do check that. Um, so that will be there. Oh, it comes up on your subscriptions as well. So do keep an eye on that if that changes. However, the plan stands at the moment um, that the new series is going to be returning next Friday and it is going to run um, from now up till just after Christmas, I believe. Um, so hopefully, like it did last time, it will hopefully get us through the toughest period of what's going on at the moment. Um, hopefully act as a distraction. We'll talk through some of the changes that the operators are doing, some of the big news, and hopefully I'll have some of my correspondents um, giving us some nice videos um, of vehicles in their areas. Um, the new Talking Buses series is going to involve a lot more involvement um, from you guys, the viewers. There's going to be a lot more chance to get involved as well. Um, as I feel like something that, especially with such a big audience that we gained from Talking Buses, um, as I do keep emphasising, probably the most popular series I have I will ever run on my YouTube. Um, where we go? There we go. Um, with such a sort of vast sort of amount of viewers from all over the place, I can still remember um, going into York Pullman's um, depot um, for an inquiry. Um, and a bus driver coming up to me and recognising me from the show. Um, we have such sort of a, it, it reached such vast sort of corners of the industry. Um, I'm hoping to get the series up and running again and as I say, get that involvement going. Um, hopefully going to be visiting a few operators. I've been working with a few of my friends from different companies, a few other YouTubers, a few of them of my friends who were just in the hobby and we'll hopefully get quite a nice and memorable series going. So, are you not, am I going to have to, because usually there's parked cars here, but I just switched the parked cars off just to save frames and it just makes life easier. So if you, if you can hear anything in the background of my microphone, that is unfortunately a road sweeper. Um, so I do apologize about that. Um, the current location for recording is a new one um, to what it used to be um, for when I last recorded my last on video. But oh good God, that was like three weeks ago now um, ish. So it's a new recording location, so that basically means that you may hear road sweepers um, and other new things that you haven't heard before in a YouTube video from me. But we'll make most of it. I might record a train sim video after this. I, I say might. We'll, we'll certainly give it a whirl and see if it works. Um, and what have. If you haven't already as well, do go and check out the new Sprinter um, videos, the real life side of the bus recordings. And for those of you who have watched Ambar bus videos for a long, long time, the description to the, the link to the channel is in the description below, as usual with every single video I make. Um, that is basically the videos from the back seats, or if it's mid-engine from the middle seats, or if it's front engine from the front seats. Um, of buses and now trains. Oh, don't mount the curb. <sighs> to be fair, though, when you're getting this bus around here, it is pretty difficult. Um, hey ho, we mounted the curb. <laughs> you can tell I'm a bit tired. Um, there we go. Um, Ammo bus videos. I've sort of taken the best clips that I've recorded recently, the long ones, the ones that are decent, the ones that have significance, uh, the ones that I just really liked, and they now feature on Ammo Central as well. So the majority of the videos do still feature on Ammo bus videos, so do go and check them out as it's like I will record sometimes, like when I did my Doncaster trip, that vlog's coming out next week. When I did my Doncaster trip, um, I recorded, was it 18 buses in the day? And I think out of them, was it one? I think one of the videos that we'll be featuring in a future um, and more central sort of real bus videos series. So there is a lot still that's 
exclusive to Among Us videos, but some of the sort of the ones that I think you guys will like, um, like very very vastly interested in, um, do feature on this channel now. So it's like I think I've got that city bus one I mentioned earlier. Um, I need to pull up closer. Don't I? The city bus one I mentioned earlier. We've got there's a one of um, a friend of mine driving a street deck, um, and so I've given the bus a full a full performance test to put it to put it lightly. That could be a nice screenshot. Um, that's going to be coming up soon as well. We had six six seven thirty nine the Euro three eclipse going 50 miles an hour um, at national speed limit roads up to skip turn a route that's now past a trans dev a trans dev variant of the 784 that one's just been uploaded that one's ready for release as well um so there's a lot of them um, coming too but what's going on at the moment though hopefully they are quite nice to sort for those of you again who can't get out who can't sort of travel on the buses like you used to do still get to experience that so i've got a lot of them in the archives in the backlog as well so I've just stopped here thinking somebody wanted to get off and they didn't. Um, so they're there as well. Um, so hopefully they can suffice some sort of interest too. So I'm hoping that you guys will find them interesting um, as well. So that I'm doing that again. There's nobody wanting to get off so I'll learn who it is. That was quite a late lane change for me. There we go. So now the next stop is Totnes, and as you can see, the sun has nearly set. Um, it has been setting throughout this, um, and it is incredibly nice to see that it has just nearly. Oh, that was a that was quite a nice screenshot. Up. I've just realised I probably shouldn't run it in game while it's waiting because I'm just obsessed with screenshots now. I didn't used to be. I promise you, I didn't used to be. Those of you who remember the channels before, I'd take the screenshots when I wasn't recording. But it is what it is. I've also got some other new exciting videos in the making as well. We're on them, that sort of thing. Um, where I am now, um, Games UK mentioned recently about the Sheffield Supertrans, um, the new Roblox game that he's been playing. Um, the joys of my current situation <laughs> means that um, the Sheffield Super Trams in the real life ones are relatively convenient to me. Um, not stupidly convenient, but relatively convenient, i.e. it's not the West Yorkshire, it's not, not they're not as far uh, because of the current situation, um, they're not, not as far. Uh, is, what, is what I'm going to say on that subject so um, not as far to sort of go on so I'm hoping to bring some sort of super tram related videos i.e. like the stagecoach 40 years um, one was that went down really really well I don't know what about golfs there we go this is quite a nice run to Totnes. Um, in other things, I've just remembered something else I ended up just moving on from without finishing. Um, was the MSTS um, that I am going to... Uh, I'm looking into getting because there's a lot of tramway content for it. I have Blackpool Tramway and it's not like the trains in Blackpool Tramway that I, I can still access. I'm just not installing it at the moment for obvious reasons as there's no point um but it's like you've got the blackpool tramway yes that's all good and dandy but the M msts one is all very self-contained and there's a lot more trains for it a lot more not trains trams there's a lot more trams for it so it would be quite nice um i think to try and get that up and running um i'll see how their popularity in their channel goes um and i'll also have a look probably have a look a few more of their videos see what it is what how it is to play um, but it's something to look forward to in the future i think so yes that was a full 40 minute recording i haven't done one of them for a long long time and um, i do hope you guys have enjoyed um it's been quite nice to drive omzi again um, i must say it's been very very nice um 
so do let me know if you do have any suggestions for me to drive map wise um, I am looking and there's not much out at the moment we are going through this dry period it's like Yellowstone was due out this week that's now being pushed back a little bit more um, I think Yorkshire County is coming out as payway. I am going to try and install Yorkshire County, see what I can get working with that. As with this new setup, I might be able to get a video of that done. I might, although this B10 is quite a lag free vehicle, so it might just be this <laughs> that caused this video to be that good. Um, but hey ho, I do also apologise about the destination not fitting fully on the blind, i.e., the Totnes Railway stat. <laughs> um, that I've only just noticed now and on that note we're going to end the video so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you do have any suggestions you do down there just stay to watch me in the comments thanks again for watching and I do see you in the next video I make bye for now bye